How are we doing guys? This is Jeremy Walls. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed the workout that we, that we just posted. We're going to be going over the new one today. So today we have 10 lunges. We're going to go into 30 jumping jacks to 20 lunges to 60 jumping jacks. We have 30 lunges into 90 jumping jacks going into 40 lunges, which will be 120 jumping jacks. And then ending off with 50 lunges and then going into 150 jumping jacks. All right, so just like before, I'm gonna demo, I'm gonna show you how to modify the movements. Um, definitely with lunges, you're gonna see that we're gonna, it might be a little harder for one leg than the other. So please take your time. Normally the foot that you kick with, you're gonna be a little bit better with. So just kind of throw that out there before you lunge and, and you fall over, take your time, all right? I do recommend if you need a little help with balancing, you could grab a broomstick, all right? Or some just type of stick to help you balance. Or if you can go by a wall or maybe like the side of the couch, if you need to rest your arm on there, that would definitely help you scale the movement down a little bit because lunges are pretty difficult since it's a one-legged squat all right so we're going to go over that so we have our first our 10 lunges which are going to alternate each time we're going to take our left leg we're going to reach it out where we can put the weight on our heel slightly have that knee touch the ground and then we're going to step right back after we do our left leg we'll go over our right leg so that's one rep we're going to go into two rep chest up make sure our heel is nicely firm on the ground that we're not putting weight on the toe chest is tall so we don't want to be leaning over and then our knee is going to slightly kiss the ground and then we're going to drive back up so it looks this one will look like being a little bit faster so knee touch the ground drive up chest nice and tall knee touch the ground and then right back up what i don't want guys is y'all falling forward or putting your hands on your knees and pressing off let's try to keep our hands on our hips or at least hands on our side so after you do 10 of those which will be five each leg one two to three all the way to ten we're going to knock out 30 jumping jacks just like we did in pe when we were a kid you're going to knock out make sure our arms go over our head split the feet at the same time one we'll do it again and two and then so this will be where it looks like a little faster you go one two three okay so make sure you still use some energy with those i don't want to see these all right I want to see nice and open up hips, open up those legs, get those hands over our head. All right, get a really good workout. So we'll post definitely about the rep scheme of the workout. So you're not gonna to have to remember it. So I know it's a little bit different today. Please take your time. It should take about 20 to 30 minutes, but we love that we hope that y'all enjoyed the last workout. Make sure you comment below how fast you do this workout. This one's for time. So make sure you just put three, two, one, go. Knock out our workout. Make sure you take care of your day. Y'all keep going and growing. I'll see y'all soon.